the reason Prince Harry is collaborating with John Bon Jovi. Prince Harry may no longer be employed as a member of Team Windsor, but that doesn't mean he's just sitting around twiddling his thumbs, if he even knows how to do this. Does anybody? Nor did Harry need to take Burger King up on their generous offer for him to become the paper crown Burger Prince. Instead, his post-royal career has him rocking out with the Crown Prince of New Jersey, Bruce Springsteen being the undisputed king as well as the boss, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer John Bon Jovi. The two of them got together not just for fun, though it certainly seemed to be just that, but to collaborate on a project that will benefit disabled veterans of Her Majesty's Armed Forces. John Bon Jovi have Prince Harry a new nickname. The rocker and the royal got together at Abbey Road Studio to record a single with the Invictus Games Choir, which is, according to an Instagram teaser clip released to promote the song, made up of made up of wounded, injured and sick veterans and serving personnel from all services and different ranks of the UK armed forces coming, together to use the power of music to aid their recovery. Proceeds from the sales of the single will benefit the Invictus Games, a sporting event for disabled service members that was founded by Prince Harry in 2014. The single itself, Bon Jovi says, was written to honor veterans who struggle to overcome PTSD and acknowledges their strength and that of the entire armed forces community. While Harry did not actually lend his voice to Unbroken, he did pose with John and a few choir members in a recreation of the Beatles' famous Abbey Road album cover photo. Oh and he also earned a new nickname, according to the BBC, Bon Jovi jokingly referred to Harry as the artist formerly known as Prince. John Bon Jovi teases Prince Harry music collaboration, we're doing it. Fans might not have guessed that John Bon Jovi's next music collaboration would be with Prince Harry. The musician, 57, spoke about his upcoming project with the British Royal, 35 on the Chris Evans Breakfast Show with Sky on Wednesday. Bon Jovi is planning on re-recording his 2019 single Unbroken for the Invictus Games this year, which is a charity sporting event for wounded servicemen and women that Prince Harry created and runs. Prince Harry, said yes and stuck now to it, so we're doing it, Bon Jovi said. I'm gonna hand him a tambourine and see what he's got going. The two are scheduled to meet and record the song at none other than the iconic Abbey Road Studios on Friday. My idea and letter to him at the time was, I'd like to give you the single. I would love to give something back to the people you care, about, but I want them to be the singers, the rocker said of inviting the Invictus Games Choir to join him on the track. It's the we are the world for this song. I've got 12 veterans. They'll sing the chorus to the existing track, which I did and then it'll be on a new record. He added, we'll release it as a single here in time for their games and hopefully raise them some money. Bon Jovi admitted that he's not sure how to address the royal since he announced he and wife Meghan Markle decided to step back as senior members of the royal family. This week, at an event in Scotland, the son of Prince Charles and Princess Diana asked to just be introduced as Harry. I've been asking, what do I do? How do I address him? And then I realized I'm gonna call him the artist formerly known as Prince, the Grammy winner joked.